Well, hi guys, and welcome to RCC Adventures. Now, today I'm going to show you a bit of footage that we really were not expecting to be able to film quite yet. Um, it's quite a surprise. Nice surprise. But anyway, before we do that, can you subscribe and uh, hit the uh, bell icon to get your notifications? Uh, it's all free. Um, I have had people in the past ask me um, if it's a cost thing, but it's not. Uh, with YouTube, it's literally you press subscribe and hit the bell icon, and it tells YouTube that you like watching my kind of stuff so if you could do that that'd be awesome and uh, yeah let's now get to the bit of footage that i'm going to be able to show you it's not what we were expecting at all so enjoy off to death hi there right um i've come down to have a look at the rover the little 25 we picked up monday uh got a battery for it today thought i'd just put uh Put a battery on, see what the electrics are doing because I didn't know if it was going to beep and the mobiliser problems with us and stuff like that. Well, as you're about to uh, see, yeah, as you can see, and you might even hear it, it's running. So this low, little Rover 25 has been sat in a garage for eight years, untouched, unloved. Well, it probably was loved actually, but untouched for eight years. You can see by the rib counter, she's idling. And as you can probably hear, yeah, there she is. She's running. So I put the battery on, and I thought the electrics, what the electrics are going to do, because I didn't know if the immobiliser was going to work. I put new batteries in the remote. I thought I'd just give it a quick turnover to see what would happen if it would turn over, and she started straight away. Straight away from sitting for eight years. I would imagine the fuel was pretty uh, ropey, but it's idling on that fuel so easily. And there's four of a tank in it at the moment, so yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, watch the space as this car is brought even more to life, i.e., on the road again. What's going on again? You have reverse. You have reverse. Yeah. Left hand down. Huh? Left hand down. Found the smart car. You got forwards. Um. So for a car that's been in the garage for eight years. Eight years. Yeah, it's and, down again, isn't it? yeah. and you put a battery to it. I didn't have time to start filming properly. I wasn't the expecting, started. I was just going to turn it over just to see if the engine turned over. That's yeah. all I was going to do. Yeah. And it fired and stuck and ran. <laughs> Bloody thing. <laughs> and now we just proved that yeah, it's got gears. Yeah. Well, that makes life a lot bloody easier. Yeah, it literally just goes through it and service it. And go from there. Go from there, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, there you go. And a bloody thing moves. Right, do you want to move on out of the way a little bit? I'm just going to take it round the block. Yeah. One of them is waiting for a car to move, but Dad's going to take it for a drive, like we did with Ron. Yeah, go on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, off a of foot, keep going. Keep going. Yeah, I do. And there you go, a car that hasn't been driven or started in eight years, barely made it outside, is now driving. After pretty much doing not a lot. 
Obviously checked all the fluids and everything. Just zoom out so you can see a bit better. Yeah, pretty cool. Now, if you remember rightly, this particular car is a rare one because it's a 1.1, and yes, they did do them. Um, and I think, because it's a twin cam still, it's, sorry about the wind, the wind's decided to pick up. Um, it looks like it's K-series because it's a twin cam, but it's 1.1. And uh, sorry about my voice, I'm losing it. I think I'm coming down with something. I've done all the checks and everything like that, but it's not COVID. And uh, I think he comes back now. Or well, one of them. Just keep an eye out. I can hear stones being moved, so that is a car moving. Whether it's him or not, I don't know. Yes, it is. Here he comes. Lights work. Yeah, all three. I'm going to stop talking now because my voice is hurting. Reverse lights work as well. There's no blue or black or anything like that coming out of the back. There's no white, really. What you can see coming out of the back is condensation. <laughs> I'm not sure if the camera can see it properly, but the car is filthy. Keep coming. 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 Yeah. Now you've got to move the ramps because they're uh, not in place. Yeah, good. Done up a second. Cool. So precise. Yeah. It's almost like driving a new car when it's filthy dirty. Yeah. Nice one. I'm going to take you out on the holder. Have a quick look around the car itself. So you can see it's come up rather nicely. It's lovely and shiny. The paintwork is how we thought it was going to be. Lovely and shiny. K 
camera doesn't do it justice, but it absolutely is stunning. All the way around. Yeah, a few little marks here and there. Sort of like, come on there, come on there. A couple of door dinks, but nothing major. I think a bit of tea can't, can't get out. Oh, we do have to uh, get a replacement seal rubber for the uh, sunroof. But yeah, so we're going to concentrate on cleaning the interior today. Um, I've got the vacuum down, clean that out, and then uh, when Dad turns up, hopefully we're going to have some cleaner so we can actually go over all the, like, the dashboard, steering wheel, and all that sort of thing. But yeah, as you can see in there, again, camera's not doing it justice. But it's uh, rather filthy. Years and years of being in a garage. It's not ter terrible, but it's not brilliant. So uh, there. So let's get cracked on with uh, giving it a clean. Kind of expecting it. Uh, we're gonna have to get some cleaning products, uh, which hopefully Dad's getting. Uh, he's, he'll be on his way. Uh, in Ron, get the swap Harlequin and Ron round. And we thought, just for a change, he'll do that, and then I'll come here and start to work on the Rover. Otherwise, it would have been him. Uh, so yeah, need more cleaning products, but uh, vacuuming it up it hasn't come out too bad. We are using a, a Dyson handheld battery-powered vacuum. And yeah, so so far, it isn't coming out too bad. It does need a lot more work. Switch on the dash and all the hard plastic areas. Switch the door there. Uh, see all the white specks. But it's not, not terrible. Still stinks in there of mould. Well, not stinks, but smells of mould. Uh, it does seem to suffer with the typical over 25 root fall where it collapses down the edges. My one did that uh, quite considerably and it didn't really have to have much weight in it because it's got like a cardboard bottom that goes over the top of the spare wheel and that's about it. The rest of it is thin carpet. So I'll carry on um, and I'll get back to you when it's pretty much nearly done. So yeah, just need cleaning products now. The difference in here already so the dash has been done. That door card over there needs to be done. And the back needs to be done. And this door card here has been done. Apart from the cloth. And we're uh, using Halford's own products. Yeah, it's coming up all right. Not too bad, not too bad. by just sort of moving little bits of dust here and there. Let's just sort of see what the paintwork look was. I'm not sure how the whole of the paintwork looked, but you know, to be expected, for a car that's been basically garaged 90% of its life, it's in good condition. Sorry for the wind, the wind has just picked up. Weather, eh? Weather. Anyway, yes, yeah, so the, ex the exterior looks pretty good. Uh, the interior does look pretty good as well. 
Um, there's a few marks here and there that we're not too happy about. It's kind of lented down a little bit. Um, the seats we're going to have to take out uh, to get better quality. Uh, but we can't do that whilst it's here, because otherwise, how are we going to get it in the container? And it's slightly too big for us to take it whilst it's in the container to take it out. Um, back seats are not too bad, but I'll show you in a minute how it looks. Yeah, I think so far for this video as well is continuing on. It's coming up marvellous. But let's show you what it looks like on the inside. Bear with. So we'll start on the driver's side. So if you look at the door cards, that was absolutely hideous. That's come up nicely. The dash has come up beautifully. Uh, we're gonna have to get a new gator because that is pretty much dead. These seats, they are filthy, so we're gonna have to get them out and properly clean them. Can't do it here. Uh, but door cards look good. That visor was absolutely disgusting, but now it looks pretty nice. And overall, it has come out amazingly well. Show you from the window in there as well. We're gonna have to get some more door mats because the, uh, not door mats, um, floor mats because the floor mats are in here. We don't think they're actually car floor mats. They look like um, rubber bathroom mats. But yeah, I'm happy with the way it's come out. I know Dad's happy with the way it's come out. So we're gonna end it there. I'll put you back in the tripod. Just have to look at me very closely. There you go. So yeah, we're happy come out amazingly and uh, if you like what you see please guys if you can subscribe to the channel which is free it's not like anything else uh, where it's uh, a paid subscription this is a uh, subscription for YouTube to realize what you like like to watch so if you subscribe to other stuff on YouTube please subscribe to us as well so you can follow up on the latest content if you hit the bell as well you get notifications when our latest uploads, uploads come up uh, so yeah so there's this um, you would have seen that there's a new one for the Golf as well. Or would you have seen that? There's one coming up if you haven't seen it already. I can't remember what model I'm gonna put one. And yeah, I think I've rabbited enough. I'm knackered now, I'm doing some food. I think we're going down the pub, as always. So yeah, cheers guys.